Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose, June 19, 2018, 7:11 p.m. Birmingham. And topic: How quick can we go from bad to worse? Well, we're going to have to do that to get into the days of where, well, maybe Noah was talking about is in the days of Noah. So shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. We're not there yet. And I tried to allude that a little bit on the last blog. Um, but how quick can we get there? Oh, we can get there really quick. <clears throat> Think of this. We are being protected probably a lot more than any of us can imagine by the Holy Spirit. Although there are wars, rumors of wars, there's battles going on around this globe every day. And a lot of, there's a million dying every few weeks, if not every other day, on abortion. 60 million to 65 million alone in our country and uh, around the world, there are taken. They're taken for use for trafficking. They're taken to use for offer up as sacrifices. They're taken. Just, and you find, you see it on news, you hear it on news, and then when they find them three hours later, they're dead. So we have all these things that we hear very little about. And it's gone from bad to worse before our eyes, but yet we don't hear the worst out of the media. We hear only whatever Trump did was bad. That's all we hear. If you get the real news and your eyes are wide open, then you might see that there's a whole lot more out there that we don't know about. Now, people like Steve Quayle, Tom Horn, L.A. Marzulli, they're telling you every bit that they're telling you is, is true, is 100% true, and it's going to come upon us. Now, the thing is, will it come upon us while we're here, while the church is still here, or will it come upon us? Us after the church has left. I believe that the church will be removed prior to that kind of evil coming because they're going to come to kill. Those things that's going to be loosed out of the river Euphrates, those things that's going to be loosed out of their stone cold, fiery hell inside of Antarctica. Those things are going to be loosed upon mankind where they'll go out and kill. But we're not seeing that yet. And Horn and Quail and these guys makes it very clear. It's coming. And here is what the Bible says. As in the days of Noah, so shall it be in our day. It's going to return. And it says in the book of Revelation, starting in, in chapter 6, how bad it's going to be. It's ironic. Genesis 6, and then you go to Revelation 6, there it was, and here it is. So yes, it's going to return, and it's going to be horrible. So how quick can it go from bad to worse? It's bad today go to worst would just be hear about some of the things that's actually happening today that you're not being told. We don't know a lot of that. The bulk of it is hidden from us. But there are people going through hell today that shouldn't. And I just hope and pray that God will not let one of his go through any of these horrors but we do know that the Holy Spirit 
and the Antichrist cannot both inhabit the same area and work In order for that to come upon us, the restrainer has to be removed. And when the restrainer moves, the restrainer carries the church with him. That could happen on a dime. As the horses sit in heaven, waiting for the riders to mount and come back with Christ to end it, Look Look at it like this. If you got home, you're really tired, you had a hard day at work, and you just want to go to sleep, you go to sleep, next thing you know, you're wide awake. Well, you just slept eight hours. Time went by that quick. When people are asleep, that's in the grave, that's how quick time goes. They don't even close their eyes good before they're open. They're open somewhere. And is it going to be open in paradise or is it going to be open in that guff across from where Lazarus and Abraham was? Remember the rich man that had Lazarus lay at his gates and a dog would lick the sores on his body, but the man wouldn't feed him? So that Lazarus died, and then an angel carried him to Abraham's bosom. And then when the rich man died, he went to Hades. He went to that place in a divide across from where Lazarus and Abraham was. And he cried out to Father Abraham. He said, please send Lazarus. Let him dip his finger in water and come over and bring me a drop that he may cool that fire. And Abraham said, we can't cross that guff. He said, then please go and tell my brothers, I have five brothers, to do not come to this place. He said, that is Daniel's job. He is preaching and teaching today. They need to listen out and hear what the prophets are telling them. Well, guys, the prophets are telling us today Kim Clements, Steve Quayle, Tom Horn, the Mark the Fireman. And I fully believe that there's a Rabbi Jonathan Kahn that's screaming his head off at us today. Hey, get yourself in order. Are we listening to the prophets today warn us about the times that's going to come? How quick can it go from bad to worse? In a minute. My granddaughter asked me what imminent meant, and I said, well, it's like in a minute. I said, it can be at any time. I wouldn't wait for midnight on the 20th to receive Christ. What if the rapture came on June 21? At exactly one second into that day, and you decided to wait just a minute when the rapture was imminent the whole time. Please don't. We're being warned. We're being told the horrible things that's going to happen. I believe the Holy Spirit will prevent those things from coming upon man and the church will be removed and then those things will come out and then you have hell on earth and they'll go through it for seven years. Many of those, it won't end for them. It'll go from there to eternity. But for some, They'll receive Christ. They'll die for their faith. They'll be beheaded. They'll be tortured. Some will be jailed. But it's going to happen. And I just want you to understand that imminent carries a whole new meaning of time. And from bad to worse can be in a split second. It could be imminent. 
Guys, be ready, please. John 3, 16. And while you add it, a little Genesis 12, 3, stand by the Jews and God will stand by you. Bless the Jews, God will bless you. Cry out to the Lord for salvation and you got it. That could be soon, people. Jody Wolf Exposed.